Hello everyone, my name is Total Mass Reduction, and welcome to a new series I'm doing. I'm doing a new series every Wednesday, but this came out Thursday. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to get the first episode out. We're going to then get it out for the every Wednesday. I'm going to try and do something live action. So even even though I'm not doing it on Wednesday, this one doesn't even count because there's no camera. So my webcam's kind of wonky, but don't worry. By the next time I do another video, I should have it. But my goal is to do a, a live action, quote unquote, either a type of skit or maybe a video randomly. Paths can apply to this. Anything that has my face, I consider a live action. Um, however, uh, what I wanted to do was in honor of, of age of Ultron, uh, let's ignore that. Uh, in honor of Falcon and the winter soldier, we're doing which Avenger am I? I looked up which Marvel character am I? And on marvel.com, they had this, uh, which is, I think probably outdated comes out May 1st next, uh, month is May. So maybe it is going to be in theaters. <laughs> Either way, let's get into this and take the quiz. Oh, get ready. What is your best feature? My foresight, my compassion, my wit, my mind, my foreskin. I'm an asshole, and I do like to come back with insight, uh, insults. But as you may know, I am a bit stupid and can't pronounce certain words, so I'm not the best on the draw, but I can think of funny things. I just can't say them properly. My mind, I wouldn't say I'm the smartest man I know, but, uh... I will say that my mind is pretty strong. My foresight is god awful, so not this one, because I cannot see or predict anything. And my compassion. Let's do wit. I just can't say it properly, but I can think it. My height is. What height is most suited for you? Between 6'3 and 5'10, because my height is between these two numbers. I think I'm closer to 5'10. Although I haven't really measured myself since I was in high school. And I've been out of high school for a while, so I could have grown. Let me go check, and I'll do it off of my license. Directly in the middle, I think I'm going to go with a joke of 5'10", because you know how people don't like being short. I'll be short. Because obviously, one of these guys are small. I think this guy, I think he's shortest. Not Bruce Banner, the Hulk. Anyway, which skill do you most value that separates you from others? Which skill do I most value? Manipulation. Intelligence, leaderships, and per perseverance. Why am I like this? Perseverance, my bad. So manipulation, perseverance, intelligence, or leadership. Uh, like I said, I'm not the smartest man. I don't manipulate people to say, um, <clears throat> but I will say I did, I was in a debate for history. I'm not in debate club, please. Uh, my, my history teacher made us take a debate and me and my friend had to go up against each other. And instead of just making a strong case for my topic, I went to him and asked him, Hey, what, what are you doing for your topic? And then he told me what he's doing. And then since I was, de since I was debating against that, I then just found weak points to his debate and kind of made okay arguments to me. And then I just destroyed him while making my sound okay. And it made me good. But I don't think that's manipulation. I'm not good at perseverance. I will like to take control, but that's because I'm hanging out with a bunch of people who are incompetent. I hang out with a lot of people when we play games. And most of the time, it's us in a group going, what do you want to play? Oh, I don't know. What do you want to play? So in the leadership form, I'm putting leadership in quotes, I mainly go, hey, let's play this game. And then everyone goes, okay. And then we play that game. So I'm going to say leadership, but it might not be the best one out of here. What is your favorite Olympic sport? Gymnastics, the hammer, weightlifting, high jump. What's the hammer? That's not a hammer throw. That's a, uh, what is other names for that? Shot put, that's shot put. I guess it's on this little line, is that it? Okay, so we have, uh, I guess flexibility and flips, jumping very tall, uh, weightlifting, and the hammer. But I will say out of all four of these, I did technically do a form of the hammer, shot put, and I did technically do a lot of weightlifting in the later years of high school. It was a very easy class, <laughs> so I'll go with weightlifting, I guess. Which weapon would you like the most? Shield, no. Temper, A-team, bow and arrow. <sighs> I don't want to use a bow and arrow. As a matter of fact, I hate bow and arrow, and that's not me saying I don't want to be Cat Hawkeye, because Hawkeye's not a bad character. 
I just don't like bows and arrows. In any game, I refuse to use them. But I also dislike shields, except for in Minecraft. I do have anger issues on occasion. And I don't know if I would want a team. I absolutely would not have a team. So it's between shield and temper. I'm going to choose temper because <clears throat> why not? Describe your personal style. Combat ready, efficient and practical, loose fitting and ragged and formal. Oh, is this my clothes? Combat ready, formal, loose fitting and ragged, efficient and pr practical. I was going to choose efficient and practical. Then I realized it's talking about my clothes. I'm going to go loose fitted and ragged. It's looking bad, and the enemy is gaining quick. What do you do? Create a diversion to you and use it to our advantage. Direct the fight away from civilians. Plan a battle and lead the team. Rally the enemy. Lead them into a trap. I think I would try, out of all these these four options, I think I would try to direct them from the civilians. I don't know if I'd have time to make a battle for a team. I don't know if we would have time to set up a trap. <clears throat> and I don't know what diversion I would do to use this to our advantage. So I'd try to get them as far as away from the civilians. How would you best describe your personality? Split. No. Noble. No, I'm constantly, like, cheap-shotting people. <clears throat> Lone wolf. I prefer not to. Calculated. I like to... Th all right, all right, look. I'm going to choose calculated. And the reason I'm going to choose calculated is because 9 out of 10 times, the things I do are calculated. I think I'm like, this is how it's going to go. This is how it's going to do. The issue is it's never how I calculated. I calculate all the time. I go, oh, we're going to do this, this, this. It's going to turn out like this. It's going to be amazing. And then it does not. And it, it's horrible. So I'm going to say calculated. <laughs> Unfortunately. How best would you describe your ability to work with others? Best as a mentor, team player all the way, team motivator. It's on my own. And it's all about me. I'm not on my own. I'm not a team player all the way. I don't know if I'm a mentor. I would love to be. I would absolutely motivate people. What's your biggest flaw? Perfectionist, multitasking, my temper, being a loner. Perf I'm probably going to say perfectionist. Mainly because whenever I'm playing games on Xbox, I go out of my way for all the achievements. If it's not on Xbox, say I'm playing a Switch game or anything like that, I go out of my way to 100% it or to the best of my ability. So I will say I'm more often looking for things to 100% and stuff rather than any of these. So my biggest flaw is probably trying to 100% everything. What's your favorite class in school? Math. Why is there not math? Physics is good. Politics is gross. History is okay. You got to need to know it. Astronomy. I think I'll pick astronomy. I always do like stars. What did you play with when you were younger? Spy set, computers, action figures, board games. I think I played with all these but a spy set. I don't think I ever got a spy. I got a magic set. <clears throat> Does that count? I got a David Blaine. Or was it Chris Angel? I think I got a Chris Angel magic set. It was a box of like just a bunch of toys and cards. Uh, I'm going to play computers. Where are you on a general Saturday night? Home alone, working late, in the gym, shooting range. Saturday, I don't know what you, why you're working late, because normally Saturday people don't work. I'm going to say home alone, but not by choice. <laughs> what motivates you the most, especially during the, the pandemic? What motivates you the most? Being the lead in innovation to cure peacekeeping, make up for the past. Ooh, out of all these, I think make up for the past is a good one. Which Avenger am I? I am 21% Captain America and 21% the Hulk. I am 0% Nick Fury. 14% Thor and 7% Hawkeye and Iron Man. Oh, I'm Black Widow. I didn't realize Black Widow was over here on her own. I don't know why it's like the main cast of the Avengers, but for some reason, Nick Fury's with the rest and they put Black Widow over here. I feel like Nick Fury should be over here. So I'm Black Widow. Fiercely independent. Your intelligence come across, can come across as intimidating at times. However, you are equipped with the tools to forge your own way in this world. And you don't really care what people think of you. That's correct. I agree with that. I don't care what people think of me. However, I don't think my intelligence personally comes off as intimidating. I think it comes off as, as annoying. I feel like if you're trying to be overly intelligent in front of people, I think it gets annoying. And most of the time, as I'm being overly intelligent in front of people, I kind of end up making an ass of myself and I feel like I'm being annoying so I kind of stop so I feel like that isn't correct entirely I don't know about being fiercely independent I am independent most of the time that is pretty cool I would never say I am close to Nick Fury I would never say I'm close to Iron Man because he's god he's intelligent as hell 
I wouldn't say I'm pure to heart as Captain America. I do have morals in his area, but based off the new series, which is why I'm doing this, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I don't think I could be Captain America, uh, let alone a perfect soldier. The Hulk I can definitely see, and Thor is just, he's a god. And Hawkeye, of course, you got Hawkeye. So yeah, I guess Black Widow would make sense. Because, you know, she's not the best there, but she does know enough. However, she got bonked. <laughs> oh, is that a spoiler alert? I feel like everyone in the world has seen Endgame. And if they haven't at this point, they're not going to. I also like how in this picture, you can see these two and Vision, but they're not up here. I guess it is the Avengers. But uh, there you go. That's my result. I will be continuing doing more stuff every Wednesday, hopefully with a camera. Why is this coming out on Thursday and not with a camera? It's episode zero, so I'm not even going to label this as anything. I'm just going to say, hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!